gang gang with its just outrageous red head and its grey and pink dappled body and just that creaky laconic call is, is an Aussie icon. It's actually Australia's only cool temperate parrot. It ranges from about Newcastle all the way down around the coast to the South Australian Victorian border and there's an introduced population on Kangaroo Island. It tends to get its highest populations up higher up in the mountains so it's, it does like the Alpine area. In terms of a diet it's pretty Catholic. We know that it eats at least 200 different food items. About half of those are eucalypts, 10% are, are, are wattles and then at 30% of what it eats are exotics like hawthorns and cataniasters. Gangangs are long lived, they perhaps live for 65 years and they're thought to mate for life but once they, uh, they nest we think they nest in much the same areas. They will use different hollows but they tend to be close to each other. So for this iconic magnificent bird it is just so surprising that we know very little about it. We do know that people have been recording where they see gangangs so we can compare how often they saw them 30 years ago to how often they see them now. And we know that over that period, there's been a 70% decline in how often they've seen. So we're assuming that they're, they're actually suffering a significant decline. But we don't really know why that is. We, we have theories that we need to test and research. And the main ones are loss of habitat and loss of these nesting trees, competition from these nesting trees from other birds, there's increased predation from things like brush-tailed possums. And lastly, with climate change, we're getting more intense and hot fires. And the fires that ripped through much of its home range in 2019-2020, um, it took about 30% of its habitat and it's estimated that about 10% of the population was lost in those fires. With the rising temperature, we had a hot day here, 44 degrees in Canberra, and we had two chicks that died in their nests. So the worry is with increasing temperature that that may be limiting their ability to reproduce successfully. I've been involved in uh, citizen science research for five years on the gang gang. And I can honestly say that the people that have contributed, the many thousands that have, have actually yielded more knowledge on the gang gangs than what was known through scientific research. And uh, it's really impacting directly on the conservation of the bird. So I'm encouraging everybody to get involved, put in your sightings, because this bird needs our help.